What I'm going to demonstrate is how to use an O-ring to create a barrier, if you will, to stop polymer from getting underneath of a retaining ring for, in this case, a mirror, but you can also use it on uh, uh, anything that has a retaining ring, such as a camera lens or, say, a refractor, uh, telescope lens. Um, so you can see here I've got an O-ring mounted along there, and I'll zoom in on that. And what this is, is just, this is just bulk EPDM O-ring material that I've just cut and laid around the outer edge. So I'm just going to back out here, and then I'm just going to show you how to go around the perimeter here. And use that O-ring as a barrier. So I'm going to just take some polymer. And I'm just going to pour a small amount here around the edge, or close to the edge. Okay, so you can see I've poured that out. And now I'm just going to take a brush, and I'm going to carefully move that closer to that O-ring. And then the O-ring will actually stop the flow of the polymer. So I won't do the whole thing on camera here, but I'm going to, I'm going to shut the camera off and finish doing this and then I'll turn it back on and show you what it looks like and then we'll peel it a little bit. So I'll see you in a minute. Now that we've got the perimeter of the mirror protected, we've got the polymer put on here and it's dry. Uh, the way you can tape this off so you can spray the interior of this mirror or if you've got a larger mirror, uh, you can just take tape. Now that this is on there, it's protected, you can put tape right over it. And I'm just going to take this tape and go right around here, just like this. And you don't have to worry about getting it on the mirror because the mirror surface is protected by the polymer. Now I've got the perimeter of the mirror cell protected. The tape is on the mirror itself, but it's on the polymer, so it's not touching the mirror, a very sensitive surface. Obviously, you don't want to touch it. So now we can go around the rest of this and cover the rest of it. And if this was mirror was mounted in a telescope, you can uh, obviously you have the, the framework or the uh, optical tube itself to protect. So you can use our, you can use anything, but we obviously have this quick mask material. And you can just go around there with the quick mask material, spread that out, and just keep going around just like I did with the tape. And you could go with several pieces, and you can see there's a considerable amount of, of uh, masking material there that you could run up the side of, say, an OTA like that. So at this point, we've got the entire mirror assembly and its, and its frame taped off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray some polymer into the center of this mirror where it's still unprotected and obviously dirty. I'm going to use a couple of different sprayers. Uh, first one I'm going to use is this one called a Misto. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on here and then I'm going to demonstrate it straight our other smaller sprayer. And you can see it comes out pretty fast. And you can see why I've got the uh, rest of it covered with this masking material. And I'm just going to get a nice coat on here. Alright, so I'm going to quit there. You can see how well it works, and it coats well, and it goes on fairly thick. You would really need just just two coats with this, the second coat, just to make sure that you've got all the, um, all the small areas and everything absolutely covered. So we'll uh, come back to it here in a minute, and I will demonstrate our other just small hand pump sprayer. So let's go ahead and use our small, this is our smallest uh, 2.5 ounce, this small pump sprayer. This works great on vertical optics because you can control the amount that uh, gets put onto the optic. And you can put a very couple of very thin coats on first to create kind of a tack coat so the rest of the polymer will stick. Subsequent coats will stick a little better. So let's just do a little pumping here. So you get the idea. 
I'm just going to continue to coat this thing here and then we'll come back to it and I'll show it to you once I've got it completely coated. Now I've got the entire surface of the mirror coated and you can see there's a good reason why we have masking material on here. But the masking material did a really good job of stopping any overspray from getting onto the mirror itself or if this was mounted in a telescope you could this would be protecting your optical tube assembly. So we're just going to set this aside, let it dry, and we'll peel it uh, when it's dry in about uh, 30 minutes or so. Well, now that this mirror is dry, let's unmask it and see what it looks like. And as you can see, the O-ring did a nice job of stopping any polymer flow over and under the retaining ring. 